I'm going to do a quick vlog before I have to go. I do have things to do today. I'm going to be gone most of the day. But before my ride comes, I wanted to knock this video out. I had a thought. And long story short, I see a lot of parallels between DJs and comedians. I've talked about this in great length, you know, when it comes to timing and sets and presentation uh, and, and maybe gigging one night somewhere and doing a particular set of either jokes or music and it goes over really well. You go to another location the next week, you do the same set or jokes and it bombs. We can all relate to that, I think. So it's really interesting whenever I hear a comedian talking about their craft. Today I was listening to someone talk about the whole slap incident, which I did a video on the other day and I don't want to rehash that. but. They were saying that the joke that Chris Rock told, they felt was a softball joke. It was very mild. And they're assuming that he didn't know about her autoimmune disease. So, if that's the case, yeah, she's wearing, like, almost fatigue green dress and has a shaved head. Yeah, kind of looks militant. Softball joke. Got me thinking about softball DJing, which is something I never wanted to be, but... You know, sometimes maybe I am, especially as a wedding DJ. And that was the really hard thing for me. When I was younger and I was doing weddings, I was able to make the transition into Clubland, which was fun for me because I could play these songs that I felt were a little more risque or, or maybe not sure things. I could try things and, and take chances and have really big rewards for the chances that I took because most of the time, you know, I'm reading the audience and I'm playing these tracks that they wouldn't normally ask for, but they went over so well and it was just super rewarding. I got back into weddings just because of money, basically, and I was softball DJing and I didn't really have a term for it. I didn't know how to explain it, but that's what it was after hearing this whole softball joke analogy. Yeah, softball DJing is a thing and I think most of us do it. I did a video yesterday where I was talking about this extensive don't playlist that somebody posted on social media and they were like, hey, wish me luck. And a lot of the songs on the don't playlist were the songs that we rely on because we know the audience will probably respond well to it. Like the mixed audience will probably res respond well to line dances and uh, LMFAO stuff and Bruno Mars stuff. You know, Uptown Funk is a sure thing and that's on the don't playlist. And I was looking at that list thinking to myself, okay, you know what I see? I see a client who doesn't want a softball DJ. I see a client who wants a DJ to maybe take some chances and play some things they don't normally hear. Don't just go tried and true. Don't take the easy route. Make this interesting. Those are the kind of events that excite me. And, you know, I want to challenge myself as a DJ, but, but I don't necessarily want to challenge the audience to the point where... I, I'm, I'm kind of strong-arming them into enjoying something that they don't. What I want to do is pay close enough attention to my audience where I can kind of start to play to them, but in a way that they didn't expect. You know what I'm saying? Does that make any sense to you? It's kind of like Christmas time. You can make a Christmas list of all the things that you want. And people can just buy things off of that list and they know you're going to like it because you asked for it. But how about that gift that you get that you weren't expecting, you didn't even think of, but it's amazing. It's perfect. But you weren't even thinking about buying that for yourself or anything else. Maybe you didn't know it existed. Or maybe you knew it existed, but you never really thought about asking for it. But you love it. That's thoughtful. That's a thoughtful gift. The person who gave that to you knows you. And they're paying attention to you. And they're surprising you. And to me, that's more fun. They're just picking off of a Christmas list. It's the same thing with picking tunes at an event. You know? I don't know. I, I It's like an epiphany I had. I had to get this video up before I decided it was a bad idea. So now's the time to shoot it. So, you know, I, I guess what I don't want to be. Really, ultimately, I'd rather not be a softball DJ. Sometimes I have to be. Sometimes I have to play what they expect. Sometimes a comedian has to go on stage and tell these jokes that will land and they won't offend anyone and they won't upset anybody and, and you're guaranteed a laugh. 
Some people might me call them like cheap jokes or you know easy jokes. Other times you go out there and you, you, you tell these jokes that are a little risque. They may land, they may not, but you take a chance. And I don't think we grow as DJs without taking a chance. If we're just doing the same thing all the time and we're just doing what's safe, we're not using our heads. We're not paying that close attention to anybody. Uh, we are, in essence, a jukebox who just knows how to organize the songs that were programmed into it in a clever way. I <laughs> Very softball. So, I don't know. Just, just an interesting observation and an interesting parallel. Do you consider yourself a softball DJ or do you consider yourself more of a hardball DJ? I do a little bit of both. I have to. It's my job. But I prefer to play hardball. I would much prefer that than just throwing the softballs all the time to my audience. What do you think? Does this video make any sense? Have I lost my damn mind? <laughs> Let me know in the comments section. Man, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.